All right, so welcome to the first example for normal compound curves. Uh, in this example, uh, we are given, we're only given um, just numbers. We're not given really a diagram, but I'll refer to the diagram we constructed in the previous video uh, to kind of help you guys understand where these numbers are coming from and how we can use these numbers to figure out other uh, parameters. So in this example, we're given that the total, man, the total uh, interior angle is 152 degrees, 13 minutes, and 42 seconds, right? And the degree of curvature for curve 1 is given as 8 degrees. And the degree of curvature for uh, curve 2 is given as, um, I'm sorry, 6 degrees, right? 6 degrees. And the problem doesn't say uh, whether this is a arc definition or a chord definition. And when the problem doesn't say that, we always assume that this is a definition by arc, okay? And we're also given delta 2 is equal to uh, 47 degrees, 12 minutes, 37 seconds, okay? And... The problem wants to figure out what the length of each curve is, what the long chord of each curve is, and what the tangent of each curve is, okay? Before we begin, uh, we're actually given the interior angle, uh, the total interior angle for both curves, and the interior angle for curve 2. So knowing this, we can actually figure out um, what the interior angle for 2 is. And here's that diagram we constructed in the last video. So we're actually given this total angle, and we're also given um, delta 2, which is this. this um, so we need to figure out what delta 1 is. And we know that, um, let me do the solution in blue, we know that the total, total angle is equal to delta 1 plus delta 2. And we know the total angle, 152, 13 minutes, 42 seconds, and that's equal to delta 1, what we're trying to figure out, um, plus uh, delta 2, which is 47, 12, 37. Uh, and if you just plug that into your calculator, you should get delta 1 is equal to 105 degrees, um, 1 second, or I'm sorry, 1 minute, 5 seconds. Okay, so that's that's delta 1. So we need to figure out what the curve, I'm sorry, what the length of each curve is. So length of curve 1, length of curve um, 2. And we're given the degree of curvature for both curves. And since this is a um, definition by arc, we use this formula. L is equal to 2 pi r delta over 360, where the L is 100, and the delta becomes the degree of curvature. Uh, remember, degree of curvature is the degrees for a length of 100, a, a curve length of 100, okay? So here, I'm actually going to split the problem into two parts. Curve 1, curve 2, okay? So we have curve 1 and curve 2, because really these compound curves are just two regular horizontal curves put together, okay? So if we um, if we plugged 100 into here and we plug the degree of curvatures into this formula, we can figure out what the radius is. And when we figure out what the radius is, we can use that information to figure out what the length of the curve is. So let's do that. For curve 1, um, 100 is equal to 2 pi, I'm going to call this r1, radius 1, for curve 1, times the degree of curvature, which is 8 degrees for the first curve. Divide that by 360. Uh, and if you solve all this out, you should get R1 is equal to 716.197 feet. Okay, so that's R1. Same thing for curve 2. 100 is equal to 2 pi, this time R2. And the degree of curvature for that curve is 6 degrees, right? And again, if you plug this into your calculator, you should get, if you solve for R2, you should get R2 is equal to 954.930 feet. Okay, 
So now we know the radius or radii, radius, radii for both curves. Um, and we can plug that into our length formula. Remember our length formula says the length of curve is equal to 2 pi r1 times delta 1 over 360 degrees, okay? So length 1, or <clears throat> the length for curve 1, is equal to 2, 2 pi, radius 1 we just figured out, 716.197, um, and then the interior angle 1, delta 1, is equal to, again, we figure that out up here, right? That's equal to 105, 1 minute, 5 seconds, okay? That's divided by 360. And if we solve this, length 1, um, we should get, let's see, I think we get 13, 12, 0.725 feet, okay? So that that distance, what we figured out, was the length of curve 1. And the length of curve 1 is BC1, and goes along this blue curve to BC2. So this distance right here is length 1. Okay, we can do the same thing to length, or um, curve 2. Curve 2, um, Remember, length 2 equals 2 pi, but this time it's r2, delta 2 over 360 degrees, right? The radius and the interior angle for curve 2 only. So length 2 is equal to 2 pi. Um, the radius 2 is 954.930, and the interior angle uh, delta 2 was actually given in the problem up here, um, and that's... Uh, 47, 12, 37, okay? Divide that by 360. Length 2 uh, should be, uh, what should it be? It should be 786.838 feet, okay? So that's the length for both of these curves. So the total length, you know, um, would be length 1 plus L, uh, length 2, okay? So that's the length for both of the curves. Let's figure out the long chord, the long chord for both of these curves, okay? The long curve, let me adjust the camera here. The long curve, or the long chord, uh, for curve one, remember our formula for LC is always 2R sine delta one over two. Same thing here. Oops, sine delta 2 over 2. And so the long curve, long chord is 2 r1, the radius for the first curve we figured out to be uh, 716.197 sine of delta 1, which was 105.01 uh, 05 seconds divided by 2. Plug that into your calculator, you should get 1. Uh, 1136.532 as your long chord 2 um, and same thing for long chord I'm sorry this is long chord 1 this is long chord 2 so 2 times R2 and R2 is 954.930 remember we calculated that sine of um, Interior angle number two and interior angle number two was 47, 12, 37 over two. Uh, plug that into your calculator. Our long chord for curve two should be 764.768. Okay? So that's a long chord um, for curves one and curve two. And the final. Um, uh, parameter we can figure out or you know just for practice is the tangent tangent 1 and tangent 2 and remember on this diagram tangent 1 is the distance from BC1 to PI1 or EC1 to PI1 and tangent 2 is BC2 to PI2 or EC2 to PI2 okay so that's tangent 1 and 2 
So tangent 1, remember our formula is r1 tan delta 1 over 2. r1, sorry, r1 was 716.197 tangent of delta 1 over 2, and delta 1 again was 105.0105. Divide that by 2. Plug that in, tangent 1 should be 933.671, okay? Tangent 2, same thing. R2, tan of delta 2 over 2. Um, R2 was 954.930, tangent of 47.1237. Divided by 2. Plug that in. Tangent 2 should be 417.301. Okay? So that's kind of how we analyze um, one Kanban curve. We split the problem up into two different curves and just analyze them that way. Alright?